Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is January 20th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the day and for Penguin Awareness Day. Look at how cute these little guys are. And little is right. This is the smallest variety of penguin in the world, the little blue penguin or the fairy penguin. They live in Australia and New Zealand. Sometimes they're called kokore. And I think they're adorable. So not everything in the penguin world is black and white. Sometimes it's blue and white. And then, of course, we've got crested penguins that have orange and yellow on them. I'm going to go ahead and use white, though, as my inspiration word, because that does unite all penguins. All penguins that I can think of, all 16 to 18 varieties, based on how you divide them out, they all have white on them. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. All right, we've got an E and we've got it placed. So now let's look at some other common letters. We haven't tried S, R, L, N, E. No, we've tried E. We've got E, we've got E placed. So if we do S, L, and then what vowels we have? A, O, U. What if we do, we can't do slant. I don't think slant is a word. What about slang? Let's try slang. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. Glade. Right? Oh, shoot. No, the L can't be there. It can't be angle. We've used the N. What is this? G L A. Oh, it could be glare. Oh, it could be glare. G L A R E. That's a good one. But then I also saw something else. If we do L A, it could be large. Both of them use the R and they use them in different spots. So it's either glare or large. And I have to decide between the two, and I'm going to let the penguins help me with that. There are a group of penguins that are crested penguins and a group of penguins um, that are large penguins, like the emperor penguin and the king penguin, right? There are different groups of penguins. Large happens to be a group of penguins. Yeah, I'm going to try it. L, A could go there. R, we haven't tried yet. G could go there. E could go there. If it's not that, but we get the R, I'm going to go for glare. That makes sense, right? Let's try it. Oh, I picked right. Oh, I love when I pick right. And I love when I pick right because I let the theme of the day help me. That, to me, is the very best. All right, let's jump into Quirtle now. I'm going to do Fishy. Oh, penguins love that. Budge, Clown, Tramp. And we have got scoop, S-C-O-O-P. S could go here, C could go here, O could go here, O could go here. We know it goes there. Um, there we go. Hmm. What is that going to be? T-H-E-E-Feek. Thieve without an I. Tehet. I don't know what that one is. We're going to have to wait on that. And what about this one? We've got all five letters here. The Y does not go there. So layer, I see it. L-A-Y-E-R. The, the fact that the Y doesn't go there, I think, really helps us because we have to put it somewhere else and it's not very common to switch the Y around. But the L could go here, the A could go here, the Y could go here, the E could go here, the R could go here. We got it layer and we've excluded the e from there t h e oh t e e t h teeth 
And look, layer doesn't go there. Oh my goodness. We really excluded a lot from that. Um, teeth. T-E-E-T-H. E could go here. E could go here. T could go here. H could go here. I'm fairly certain. And that helps me to place this. E goes here. And the A doesn't go here. So I'm thinking the A is going to go there. So relax. R could go here. E goes here. L could go here. A could go here. We need something else here. We haven't tried the X yet, and we haven't had an X word that I can recall in a while. So I'm going to relax and choose that. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.